Have you ever thought you were good at video games? Well, forget everything you knew as Rust throws you into a world where you are forced to restart from scratch every three days and rebuild everything you have worked for. Each journey begins with a rock and a dream to make it big. Along the way, you will die to a scrub that gets lucky and takes all your shit and you may get lucky and kill a scrub that was farming without anything to defend themselves. In my experience, everyone will go through this roller coaster of emotions from being a hunter and prey. Although the lack of proper anti-cheat engines on larger servers can prove to be annoying when you were sniped across the map to a kid that was aim hacking. Although this game is toxic in many ways, obtaining a friendly neighbor feels rewarding as well. Until they log off and you decide to take a peek into their base and vice versa. On the other hand, the game is growing in popularity with many new and returning players populating the servers. With a variety of different servers, there's always something for everyone, depending on the experience that they want. If you're a PvP warrior, jump into a 400 population server and hold on to your balls while you try to crack your first base without being sniped by a bow and arrow from your fellow neighbors. Not able to keep up with the pace? Then hop on to a dead server with a population under 100 that can be more manageable for players that are seeking to learn the ropes. This game isn't for everyone. At first, it completely hooked me like a fish. I actually avoided this game for years for this very reason. I knew I would be addicted to the grind and potential to make it big. However, after finally giving it a try and being able to climb my way to alpha status by raiding and protecting my maxed out base, I can finally say this game is behind me and I'm ready to move on to something else. For me, the repetitive nature of having to restart every three days proved to be too much of a time commitment. While I enjoy the journey to getting to the top, knowing that if I was not online 20 hours a day to protect my base and keep progressing, made me realize that this is how many plebs develop disorders in which they spend every waking hour playing and racking up 10,000 plus hours in a game. Do you realize how much could have been done in that amount of time? Even most Rust YouTubers don't have that many hours and it's their damn livelihood to play the game. It's a world that never sleeps. And if it's gonna be that serious about a damn video game, it ain't worth it, bro. But anyways, if you guys like the topics discussed in this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will keep these videos coming.